Dear divine souls Archangel Michael comes to you today to let you know that your soul is always evolving With each new existence your soul needs more and more interaction with others soul to keep the evolution and growth process on track evolving higher and higher every time so someone special is about to make an entrance into your life This is coming at a time when you both need to learn something from each other and support each other on the next leg of your soul's journey. So in spite of never having met before, their energy will feel familiar and comfortable. So divine timing working it's a magic. This connection may also evolve from acquaintance to friendship to romance whatever comes of this connection archangel michael wants you to enjoy it this is a time to be open to new people coming into your life so open your heart So release judgment of both yourself and others except people for who they are You may also notice that as you grow with the new connection that you discover the someone new inside of you too So dear souls know that Sometimes we just need to look at things from a different angle in order to unlock the solutions we are seeking. So if you do things in the same way you have always done, you are likely to get the same results. So it's a time for new perspective, new inspiration. and new ideas on how you might approach your situation and what you are trying to achieve so if you are feeling frustrated right now then just know in taking yourself out of the current environment so taking a break and then doing some brainstorming will get those ideas flowing regarding how you may change your approach so know that success is assured and you will get there but you may need to think outside the box and get out of your comfort zone to do this get all your ideas and potential solutions down as within there is that spark of inspiration just waiting to be unlocked sometimes it's not in the doing that you get results sometimes you need to step back and rest recharge and have a dead break to get your creativity flowing you will then find hang taking that vital step back the right answer will stand out to you the universe wants you to know it's all going to turn out all right so don't fret or worry about this so abundance is your right and any frustration blocks or setbacks do not necessarily mean that you are doomed to fail so be kind to yourself the answers will come the results will come just take the pressure of yourself and relax a bit
patience is key to keeping the peace in your heart and to unlocking your guidance when you are putting pressure on yourself you cause stress and too much stress then may just block the ideas from coming but it will all start flowing again as soon as you allow yourself to relax so dear souls know that are you still looking for your very own promised land are you still looking to find the best place and the best person to build your life and foundations by the simple fact to see this signs tree of life knowledge has begin to surround you as you are reconnecting with nature you are receiving this message as the universe wants you to get back to your roots and ground your soul so the tree of life is a scared tree that contains the knowledge of the universe when you are grounded and connected to the earth you have the ability to tap into the knowledge contained within the wisdom of the tree you are not isolated you are deeply connected to the world around you and all within it so the energy of this tree wants you to realize that you have the ability to thrive and grow when you are connected to the universe so this tree also indicates that you are an amazing and unique being you truly are it is a symbol of your life's path and the challenges and achievements you have reached in your life so there are greater things to come in your life you are a tree of wealth and knowledge listen to the universe so that your gifts will be unveiled so my child know that your life became unrecognizable the moment you elevated your self care game your state of mind your self esteem and the way you value yourself far more than you have been offered in the past and it all took a leap so this shift made you an entirely different person you established healthy boundaries so you could rightfully enjoy a more peaceful and intentional life the work you are doing to yourself is no joke it's hard but nothing beats living an elevated life don't worry too much over whether someone's intention towards you are genuine or not the universe sees everything worry about staying true to who you really are and continue shining your light as you maneuver through your journey so in time everything will be revealed to you in the right order but for now put your energy on what truly matters your inner growth when your heart is always in the right place the universe sets your blessings up differently continue being exactly who you are and you will find yourself in the winner circle every day so dear souls know that this message reminds us of the essence of true worship 
and what it means to connect with our creator god is spirit the simple yet powerful statement tells us about the nature of god he is not confined to a physical form or limited by the material world he is spirit transcending time and space and always present with us and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth jesus spoke this words to the samaritan woman at the well teaching her that true worship goes beyond rituals locations and traditions true worship is about the heart it's about engaging with god on a deep personal level and in a way that is sincere and genuine to worship in spirit means to connect with god from our innermost being it's about more than just singing songs or saying prayers it's about a heartfelt devotion and a living relationship with him it means letting our spirit responds to his spirit in love adoration and obedience so to worship in truth means to worship god as he has revealed himself in his word it involves acknowledging his attributes his work and his will as shown to us through scripture It means approaching God honestly without pretense and allowing his truth to guide and transform us. As we come to the close of our day, let's take a moment to examine our worship. Are we worshiping God with our whole hearts? in spirit and in truth are we allowing his presence and his word to shape our lives and our responses to him dear souls know that maybe this year is about losing yourself maybe it's about discovery instead of answer maybe it's not as simple as saying you failed You just needed to see the world with a different lens maybe it's not as easy as realizing people broke your heart You only needed to spend more time with yourself and learn what it's like to appreciate who you are in solitude So maybe this is the year to give back to yourself instead of convincing others you are worth it. Maybe right now struggle and loss are not demons you have to rise above because what if they never were?